Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have something short, sweet, fun, a little bit intricate. My dog's over here snoring, so I apologize if you can hear him. So I'm going to start with Madame Glam's Perfect White and just put one coat down on these super, they were super long tips, but I cut them down because we're going to be working with some water decals and you always want to wipe off that tacky layer. You don't want to be trying to put water decals and make them stick onto that slimy inhibition layer. So here are the decals we're going to be working with. These are What's Up Nails. I think they're called Arabian Nights. The number is P107. I'll have these linked down in the description box below, but Aladdin is my all-time favorite Disney movie, like pre- Toy Story. I don't know. Is Toy Story Disney? I don't know. Any boobs. So here I am just sipping away on some lemonade sangria. And yes, I am using a measuring cup. You want to know why? Because I poured some and I thought, you know what? If I don't like this, I'm going to use this little spout here and just pour this shit right back on into the bottle. And then maybe, I don't know, let Nana enjoy it in the pool or whatever. You guys, last weekend, Spawn golfed in a charity golf tournament, and he won in a raffle an entire case of sangria. Y'all, we don't drink wine or sangria in this house. But I thought, you know what? What the hell? I'll go ahead and try some of this lemonade stuff. But the piece de resistance was the $350 charbroil grill that that child won. It's like a griddle top. It, it's, a hu it, it's huge. It's massive. So he had a, a very nice weekend at the golf course um, last weekend. Okay, where was I? So, yeah. So I'm just going to trim out uh, my three, the three uh, water decals that I'm choosing to use. I'm only doing three nails because there's only four designs, you know, on this uh, decal, this sheet of decals. So I'm going to pick uh, or basically choose three different ones that are the largest in size. So just put that face down on my stamper and then go in with a little bit of water on this ratty old e.l.f. concealer brush. Actually, I use this brush to brush in my, um, my cuticle lotion, my unforgettable hands and cuticle lotion from Ribbit's Stickets. And so I'm just going to use the same brush and just wet the back of this decal. And then after a few seconds, it will slide right off. Okay, one of the beauties of the What's Up Nails water decals is they are opaque, y'all. Look, look at the back of this. It's white. You don't have to worry about, you know, using white gel paint or gel polish to color in the back of this decal. Ugh, they're amazing. But you don't want to go ham. If you have a little air bubble here or whatever, you can use your fingernail, a silicone tool, finger, what have you. You don't want to go ham, right? Because you don't want to run the risk of tearing or marring this decal in any way. But you also don't want to just plop it down and then have like a big bubble. So here I am. Y'all, I'm so dumb. So... I have this clear jelly stamper, right, from What's Up Nails. I've had this for like seven years. I totally forgot that the bottom is all jacked up from acetone. So I can't see shit. I'm like, girl, you are so dumb. So here I am in a panic. What do I do? What do I do? Do I try to put the same stamper head in a different stamper? And I'm like, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm just going to stamp it right on without a stamper. <laughs> I'm just going to take this stamper head itself and just plop this shit right down on this tip. And it, it worked. I mean, I got it on there, obviously. But my alignment was a little bit off because I think I had a finger in the way. I couldn't really see. It's fine. It was just okay. Uh, I don't know. I literally panicked and cussed myself out. So, again, you don't want to just be poking uh, oh, so, oh, yeah, okay, so so for the next two, I do switch to a different uh, stamper, uh, an entirely different stamper, stamper head, a new stamper, the whole deal. So I get the other two on, but I also want to get these top coated as quickly as possible because I don't want to run the risk of them, like, getting too dry and curling up. So I'm going to use Madame Glam. Now, this is not a no-wipe top coat, so I do have to go in and wipe 
each layer, unfortunately, but it was fine. So note my technique. I basically start from the center of my decal and work my way out because I don't want to run the risk again of getting any sort of top coat underneath that decal. And, but I do want to get these top coated and cured as soon as possible because I don't want them to, I don't know, get funky, wonky. I don't know. This is also, oh, you're on to hear my sump pump going. Uh, this is also an old crappy top coat that I use for like loose glitters or loose pigments or what have yous. So I am trying, trying to do my best to make sure that I get it very smooth and I don't have any little particles just floating around on top of my design. Uh, don't fret about this bottom part down here, this big old white part. Uh, don't fret about that. So once I'm confident that I have the top coat where I need it and it's all flattened down, then I can go back in with, uh, you know, my thicker, my thicker coat of top coat and just float that, float that over and I make sure, you know, I don't have any top coat underneath my decal. And then I will pop that in the lamp. So here are all of my, or all three of my little decals top coated and wiped down. Again, do not fret about the white free edge or the little white space up here at the top because I'm gonna be painting on like a little cuticle cuff and uh, yeah, cover that up. So here we go. I'm gonna use my Model 1's Color Cube, this one that I have not used, so I've not even swatched it. I have a million of these, and this is the Find Your Muse palette. It's beautiful. I was looking for a purple to put up there at the top, and I couldn't decide between two purples. So I'm gonna start with this sort of brighter, um, it looks jelly, but it's it's not. It's very opaque. But it's it's brighter but deeper, if that makes sense. I don't know. So I'm going to plop a little bit up here on this corner to just sort of compare this with the purple that's already in the decal itself, like the little palace in the background. Um, and then also plop this one. So I cleaned my brush, and then I'm going to use this dusty purple. It is a little bit of a lighter tone. So I'm going to plop this up here and then sort of compare the two and see which one I like the best with this design. And I, I probably should have blended, maybe tried to mix the two and come out with like the perfect color, but I decided to go with the lighter one, the more, the dusty, the dustier one. So I'm just going to wipe off both of these and then go in with my dusty purple and my little brush. And I didn't want to F around with using a liner brush or a detailer brush or anything like that. So I'm just using my application brush and just, you know, try to get as close to that decal as I can and cover up as much of this white as I can. Now, the, the solid cream formula for Model 1s, I am basically an expert at this point of about when it comes to like the Model 1s formula of uh, solid cream gels. There is a little bit of a delicate balance, right? So I'm doing a little dance here because I do want it to cover in one coat because I don't want to have to fuck around with a second coat. But I also don't want to put it on too thickly that it possibly wrinkles in the lamp. So I'm just going to try to do my best to get my opacity down first. It's looking pretty good. Now, this is not a second coat. This is just me sort of doing an, uh, one final swipe right, to make sure I don't have any lumps and bumps. I don't want it to wrinkle. I want to make sure it, it is as thin as it can possibly be. And then I'm just going to plop that in the lamp. So now we're going to come in with my cutters here. And I do a little bit of a dick tease to y'all. I'm sorry, but I get it lined up and then I don't show y'all the cut. My bad. Uh, but I do have one tiny little sliver, just a sliver of white down here at the very tip. So I'm just going to use the same brush, the same color, and I'm not even going to scoop. I'm just going to literally dip that brush into that color and then make sure I don't have too much on my brush. So I'll go ahead and wipe a little bit off of my palette and then just literally sort of 
I don't know, walk my brush across this white line. But I also got sort of the, that, the edge, like the literal edge, not the top of the free edge that you can see, but the edge where I actually used my nippers because that was also stark, stark white. So I went over that. Sorry, I'm out of focus or out of frame here, but I also went over the very, very, very tip of this tip with my brush and made sure that I, right here, uh, covered up that white. Otherwise you would see it. Yeah, anyway. So here we go. You know, it didn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to cover up that little white thing. So on this tip, I did have a little bit of, this was the first one that I did without the stamper head and I just literally, or without the stamper, I just plopped it on with my fingers and the stamper head. And I had a little bit of hangover but I cured it, the top coat, right? So it's um, it's a little bit firm, but not too firm that you can't file it off. So if you use a, um, a hand file, just only file in one direction. Just file down. Don't file up and down. Just file in one direction. These things are so fantabulous for filing. It, it's like nothing. It's just like paper because, of course, they're, are they paper? Are they thin plastic? I don't know. We're still not finished. I'm gonna go in with some velvet matte top coat from the old Madame Glams. Oh yeah, by the way, I have discount codes for literally every company that is featured here in this video, with the exception of What's Up Nails or What's Up Beauty or whatever the heck they're calling themselves these days. So make sure y'all follow the links and check my description box because I have all of my this, uh, all my discount codes listed down there. So I'm going to go in with a, uh, with Madame Glam's velvet matte, but this is what it would look like if I were to just leave it glossy. It's okay. It's fine. But this was not the look that I was going for. Look at this. Oh, ah, oh my God. Oh my God. They're so beautiful. They're literally like illustrations in a book without glossy pages, of course, because, because they're matte. But they are so beautiful. Look at the detail. Look at the detail on these freaking decals. They're just gorgeous. However, as beautiful as they are, nay, 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 we are not finished. Because I decided to go in with Madame Glam's Gold Gel Paint and a Vetsy, this is like a Vetsy brush that I got in like a three pack or something, a Vetsy liner brush. And I'm going to, well, I sucked the brush in and I sort of swirled it around inside the paint to sort of mix it up a little bit. And then I wiped that excess on my palette. So I'm gonna work from my palette with Madame Glam's gold gel paint. And I'm gonna outline, basically hand drawer like an arch and sort of cover up that line of demarcation between where the cuticle cuff, where that solid cream gel polish ends and the water decal begins, if that makes sense. So this was another sort of delicate balance and a little fancy dance that I had to do because I didn't want to make the line too wide, but I also didn't want to bring it down so far that I wound up sort of um, covering up that tip um, on the palace, you know, y'all see that, that little teardrop shape. Well, now it's upside down, but yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. So on all three of these, I'm going to go in with Madame Glam's uh, gold gel paint. And I'm just, I could not be more freaking happy with how this set turned out. I know it's only three nails, but I'm still calling it a set. What do you need, sister? Sorry, my dog's back here overheating, I think. Here they are in all of their luscious glory. Oh, by the way, if you don't know, Madame Glam's gel paints, are you okay, ma'am? Uh, Madame Glam's gel paints, they cure without a tacky layer. So the entire nail is matte, but then I went over it with the gel paint and cured it, and that's gonna stay glossy. It's freaking phenomenal. Oh, 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 here's the detail. Look at this little magic lamp with the little plume of smoke coming out of it and the little crescent inside of that. Look at these little beaded swags and these little stars in the background. And of course, the little magic lamps on the nail in the center. 
these freaking water decals are so phenomenal. Y'all let me know if you've shopped What's Up Nails water decals. Be prepared for a lot of, for a lot of these Luke's uh, during the holidays because I have a million of these. All right. If you stuck around this long, cookies, kudos, and trophies to y'all. The keyword is Aladdin. The keyword is Aladdin. That's going to do it for me. I love y'all so, 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 so much. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.